Well, we've all had to sacrifice a lot this past year in the pandemic, and Master Sergeant Jonathan Pearsall of the U.S. Air Force is a perfect example of that. His family's in Rock Hill, South Carolina, but Master Sergeant Pearsall's been stationed in Alaska for 10 months, and today he got to come home. Inside one classroom at Independence Elementary, a surprise was waiting for third grader Ashley Pearsall. Your classmate, Ashley's dad, you know where he's been? No. He's in the um, Air Force, and he has been stationed in Alaska. Her teacher filling in her fellow classmates on what was about to happen. He is flying home, and he is on his way to surprise Ashley today. I know, isn't that exciting? The students were equally excited. So when she comes in, Guess who's going to be sitting in her seat? A dad. Her dad. She's going to cry. Yes, probably so. <laughs> <laughs> Part of enjoyment. And that, be honest. And I, listen, Miss Freeman might be crying, Miss Bradley might be crying. I might be crying. Or me. Okay. okay. I might be crying. I'm going to be honest. Stunned to hear how long Ashley has been away from her dad. He hasn't been home since Christmas of last year. What? I know. Her dad hasn't been home since Christmas of 2020, and the pandemic has made it increasingly hard for him to get home. If you want to sit right here, we're going to get her, okay? It took Master Sergeant Pearsall two days to get home from his Air Force base in Alaska. When he got off the plane, he drove straight to Independence Elementary, a trip made worth it by this exact moment. Sorry, Ms. Bradley. I can't go either. <laughs> We're can we kind go? of a mess. Yeah, can we go to sports? Oh, no, oh, no, okay. it's all forecast all the time. But I mean, you've got daughters, yeah. I was a daddy's girl, mm -hmm. and anytime you see a reunion, a military reunion, yeah. it just it just hits you. Yeah, it's a beautiful story, and it was um. Yeah, they never get old. No. These